Hi. I've got you some pretty interesting stuff. So this is uh, not very cheap, let's say. This is the uh, a motor driver. This is a very special one because you have a software that uh, you can download and uh, you can change its parameter according your need. Uh, this one is a dual motor. It's not a cheap. It cost about uh, 200 uh, US dollars. 220 actually. And let's see what we have inside. Okay, so it goes like this. We have of course the main board with a power on switch and we have a dual three phase uh, connector to the motors and we have uh, these cables probably uh, these are for the whole sensor i guess i'm not sure and we have the manual so we will read and check in the manual what exactly is written about it uh, so let's see Okay, so let's see what we get with uh, this paper. So, so it goes like this. Of course, we have the battery input and uh, dual motor outputs. And then we have, ah, there is a receiver uh, cable. Ah, this is the receiver cable, what? You can disconnect, it is soldered without a connector on board. And then we have uh, these wires. So I'm not sure uh, how many pins. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have here six, but also here six. So what? Okay. Okay. Open source project. Blah, 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 blah. 50 amps continuous or uh, for each, uh, each motor. Or of course 100 amp continuous for the dual motor and you can get a burst of 150 amps for single or 300 amps for dual. Wow, this is a lot. So for spike you have three times the continuous count for a short period of time. And the voltage is 8 to 60 volt. This is a very good and we have, ah, okay, they, they are written. Okay, so these are the two uh, sensor wires. So as I suspect, these are for the whole effect sensor, but by what they are written, you don't have to use it. So I will try to use without this cable to see if I can get it to work. And all the driver have, oh, do you see? There is a USB connector and there is a nylon on it. So I have to cut uh, this nylon uh, anyway I have to cut it because this is not because otherwise of course I cannot connect uh, to the connector so anyway you have to remove uh, the plastic cover that protecting the component I don't know why they put it but anyway let's try to grow this is a very hard plastic ah and see something interesting i have two usb connectors so i can i can independently each motor uh, change the parameters this is something very strange because i saw there is some sync between one channel and the other channel and they are not fully independent 
because this is why I also bought uh, two of the single boards but as I see it here it looks like <laughs> they took two boards like this and glue it <laughs> glue them together onto one board so I don't really understand what is the added value to have this dual motor board because what to save one battery connection this is doesn't make a lot of sense to me anyway this is what I have so later on I will try of course to connect and to see if I can change parameter with the software the free open source software and then of course I will also try these guys and of course that I had also to buy this this is a part of uh, I think one of these I don't know if the single or the dual and this is a remote control with an LCD and what is nice about it is that it transmits a few parameters for example I think it transmits the battery status so you can see in the LCD the battery status this is nice and then you have probably a USB cable to charge the internal battery and also you have this guy that is the other part of the re uh, remote in order to connect to the main board uh, of the motor controller so a lot of things to test and check I'm pretty curious to see how it will work so uh, I will try to connect it uh, to my motors and then to the battery and I will try to make it to work and see how it goes so this is probably goes to the receiver the remote receiver let's see if this fit in no it's not the same connector so how I should connect this guy aha maybe there is another cable inside this box aha yes there is another cable so this should go here like this and this will go to the main board but again this is strange because I can connect it to this side or to this side maybe there is uh, some parameter to say that both will work on the same uh, model because they have to work on the same model I don't want to speed up just one motor and the other with no change <laughs> this is strange but probably need to read the manual and try to work with it so pretty nice that's all for now so I will try to to work with it a little and then we will continue another uh, another video about this after I will do some installation and test what I can get from it so, meanwhile, thank you and bye.